So this week, the hot range and hotter channel, maybe? I don't know. It's over a thousand subscribers and you'll see what's coming up now, which is Pizza Express's new hot range. But is it any good? So, and we are on to the review, well over a thousand subscribers now, which is absolutely mind blowing and hopefully uh, continues obviously the views and the watch time, etc., going up and up and up. And uh, as I said at the start, maybe the channel is getting a bit hotter. Um, maybe it's being seen by a few more people, who knows? But either way, you can see there the prices, which again, with a lot of places, they're not cheap, but Pizza Express, I think, you know, going since 1965, um, it's a good quality and you pay for what you get. It's, it's good quality food. Uh, the dough balls in the supermarkets have always been brilliant, I, I think, personally. Um, so to start with, it's the hot range. And as you can see there, they are the hot dough balls. So they've got loaded Italian tomato sauce or loaded with Italian tomato sauce, paprika spice sausage, topped with hot green peppers and Grand Milano cheese, which I've never heard of Grand Milano cheese, but they were nice, but they were just a little bit soft as in the tomato sauce kind of soaking into them, which I don't think is a bad thing, um, but the dough balls are really nice when they're kind of almost a little bit crisp. And then you've got the garlic sauce. So. That aside, the, the, the sausage, the kind of spiced sausage, ground sausage was, was really nice. It was just a shame, which you're gonna get every time really, as I've said on loads of reviews before with the delivery, they were kind of all slid to one side. So yeah, again, I, I suppose a delivery guy can't really stop that happening as such. Um, but that kind of, it, it ruins it a little bit, to be honest, obviously, you know, in-house or, or, or sitting in far better. And years ago, when I've been to Pizza Express, um, a long, long, long time ago. They, they were exceptional. Again, not cheap, a little bit cheaper back in the day, but not cheap now. Um, it was a bundle though, that you had the dough balls with, as well as the pizza. So pizza on its own, as you saw there, 19 pound, 25, which 20 quid, I think for a pizza, compared to Pizza Hut and Domino's, it's, it's not actually that bad, but we'll come on to that in a minute. First of all, the epic, I think, <laughs> first in a long, long time, if ever, cheese pool. I mean, look at that. You, you can't, I mean, it, they were warm as well, which was, was brilliant. Yeah, okay, the breading kind of broke away when I pulled it apart, but if you don't pull it apart, I, I think these have got to be the best mozzarella sticks I think I've had even from like a supermarket, let's say, you know, in, in terms of replicating them. Uh, the mozzarella sticks, again, aren't cheap, £7.45, but uh, coated in crisp golden breadcrumbs, served with Italian tangy tomato dip, which I don't think I actually had, um, and drizzle of sweet hot honey, which didn't really show, um, unfortunately. Uh, and thank, no, I take that back. I think there it is on the bottom of that one. So I don't know where the rest of the hot honey um, drizzle went, but it, it didn't go on all of the mozzarella sticks. Again, there, an epic cheese pull, which, you know, I think the fact I was just a little bit like overwhelmed with, it's a cheese pull that I've never had with mozzarella sticks before. As you can see there, nice little bit of B-roll of actual um, making of, of mozzarella or buffalo mozzarella. And mozzarella, once it's seasoned with something or a flavor added to it, I think it's one of the best cheeses. It's, you know, the, the stringy side of it. And they were really good, like really, really good. Um, 745, a little bit on the expensive side, but I've had similar priced, far worse. However, their new spicy hot wings don't, don't even look that great. Um, again, I missed it off the advertised versus reality. Um, I just did the pizza because I think the pizza being Pizza Express is the main thing. Um, I, I can't, I wouldn't say what's, what's the term, right home, anything to write home about. They, they were small. Um, again, it's Pizza Express, so it's not their thing, as you can see there. Um, I, I don't know, I, I, can't, I can't say they were very good. Uh, the spice and kind of the flavors to it. Um, yeah, okay, fiery um, chicken wings with a chili seasoning and chili and basil dip. The, the basil dip, chili and basil dip was in the, in the bag, which I didn't get out or didn't realize till the end. Um, but the actual dip um, in terms of, or the sauce, which was kind of a very similar sauce in the bottom was nice. The sauce and the flavorings, brilliant. 
Um, as you can see now, the, the price is, again, for the bundle, $22.50. Uh, yes, yeah, you know, it's not bad. Um, it's not extortionate, but it's not bad. I mean, the overall price of £39, that's that's probably the most, I think, no, in fact, that is the most expensive delivery delivery I've I've had to date. Um, hopefully it doesn't keep going in that direction. And, you know, because of missing Hooters this week, which was going to be the 1,000 subscriber special, we'll do that next week. But even Hooters, they're not cheap. But it's, it's a brand again. So, you know, Pizza Hut is a, a Pizza Hut, even though it's a brand. Pizza Express is a, you know, high street brand and um, and a good one at that. As you can see there, advertised versus reality. Yeah, okay, the cheese wasn't quite perfect, but the amount of pepperoni that you had. Um, and this, this is the brilliant part, which I didn't know they did. It's got the raised Pizza Express logo, which creates um, enough space so that the dough doesn't go soft and soggy now the only thing that i will say even though i've given them a very good rating um towards the end that you'll see is i had to use a knife that you you literally couldn't where it was divided they weren't actually cut properly so that's the i mean again busy probably getting out a little bit fast um that was the only thing that i would i would knock them down on but but i'm i'm not going to knock them down on it because realistically in eating in i mean um, probably would have been fine. Now, I suppose I should knock them down a little bit, but cutting of the pizza, is that really the pizza? I I'd say not so much, you know? The pizza itself though, thin, crisp, um, not too crisp on the uh, on the crust either, just kind of a, a nice kind of, uh, not even a crunch to it, just a, a nice doughy uh, texture to the edge, but it, it wasn't, as you see there, it wasn't, too much it wasn't um what am i trying to think of it what it wasn't overdone you know it it, it wasn't overcooked it, it was it was about as perfect a pizza i think as as i've had in a long 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 time um if you had a thicker base maybe if you prefer a thicker base then they do other bases but as far as an actual thin and crispy you know comparing it to zizzy um Oh, better. The, the toppings, like I was saying, for Zizzy, hardly anything. Now, yeah, okay, rustic pizza, I get that, but the amount of pepperoni, and it was nice pepperoni as well, all cooked brilliantly. And the best part, I think, is that the grease level wasn't over the top. Even though it's obviously a hell of a lot of pepperoni, you expect it to be kind of swimming in it. But it really wasn't. I mean, as far as pizzas go, as I say, for 1925, and the size of the pizza... Um, and they do many, many other styles of pizza. So it's not that they kind of just have three or four pizzas uh, or toppings. It was really good. Hot, spicy with the hot peppers. I, I honestly can't knock them down. So you'll see in a second the ratings, and they were very good this week in terms of the pizza itself. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for mozzarella sticks. Dough balls, 7.5. And the wings, nope, 6.5. I appreciate all the new subscribers. And if you haven't, have a look at these videos.